Ayan, so, okay guys. We are talking about idols in the Philippines. What does it take to be an idol? I have here all of you. Come with, come with me, come with me, come with me. Here tayo. Center stage natin to. Stage natin to. Atin to. Alright, so, first and foremost, we have the perspectives of idols, fan, and producer. Yes, he's also a general producer, general director for the Yordia. Which is also part of doing for the idols. Now, I just have only a few set of questions. Paki timing and ako kung nasa lapas sa amin 25 minutes. Kasi ay sinabi sa amin. <laughs> Alright, so, first up, uh, let's give the perspective ng mga idols. Stash, what are your thoughts on being an idol? Oh, it's, it's different from being like produced by a higher company and being a self sufficient idol. Independent idol, so all of your fans, you have to give it for your, for yourself and for the fans. You have to give time, effort, lots and lots of money, and you have to give everything that you got in order to show yourself to the people, and the people will see you and gain smiles from your performances. That's what I see. What an idol is. Fina, can you follow her answer? <laughs> Of course. Uh, for me, what's an idol is you, you need to have a strong will of passion. Because um, particularly sa mga independent idol groups na wala naman po mga support, ah. um, so kailangan po talaga natin na magkaroon ng motivation para magpatuloy sa mga, ayun, sa mga activities. Alright, so we get the perspectives of the idols. We will now get the perspectives of the producers. Dance. What can you tell about producing an idol group on your own? <laughs> really? Uh, Every day, di ba? One of the things kasi is, sa inisip ng mga tao na ng idol kasi, eh. performance lang, di ba? Ang nakakalimutan kasi ng mga tao yung business perspective of it. Di ba? Being an idol, hindi lang siya dahil nagpaperform ka, dahil ano rin siya eh how to maintain the group, you know? So, you know, it's about the business. It's about the business. So, you're saying that idols are serious business? Yes. All right, we get the perspective of the fan. This is one eager fan. Again, Jalilas Manalini, what are your thoughts on being a fan of the idol culture? For me, the idol culture, yung, ano, yung may enjoy ka, yung pag-assist ka ng marami para sa pinakakami Oshimo, sa Oshimo. Para mapangat siya sa kanyang pangarap sa magiging idol. Ang root ko, naging admin ako ni Evel 48 Nights. Sinuportahan ko siya hanggang siya makarating niya yung maging senpa, ano, maging under girls. Eh, kasasamang palad na yun. Wala na siya. Katanggal siya ng HHD. Pero, natutuwa ako na yun kasi nakakasama na yung mga parents niya, yung mga kapatid niya. Ayun. Ayun, okay, so uh, that's the perspective of each and every one of us. Ako as a fan, well, na-inclose na ako sa SIKP talaga fully with ML48. Eh. I, I, don't, I don't deny that. It's something that, that really exploded uh, into culture. Eh. So, uh, okay, so we will begin with the journey of an idol and we'll get it from the perspective of the idols. Of course, there will be spilling of tea. May tatakon mong siya ah, dito. So take caution. We have performance groups like our audience here. Station Kakaway, ang bahang kayo SK po, ladies and gentlemen. Station Kakaway, please give a hand to my home group, Station Kakaway. She's also a member of Station Kakaway. Yeah, also a member. They've been performing since a long, long time ago. Very, very dedicated group of girls and they're very, very good to be with. They've been there supporting me ever since. Basta bahang kayo. Yeah. So, from your perspective, Tanj, uh, pa paano, paano, how did you get into this point? Uh, sabi mo mga ano, uh, what made you decide na magsisimula ka maging idol? Eh, that's a very, very hard question, but I'll try to, I'm gonna try to do my best to answer that. Um, yeah, it's true that what you said earlier, MNL48 truly did give light, light that shed light to the dark area of the idols in the Philippines. Like, it did uh, garner lots of attention to both fans and non-fans themselves. Like, even if you're an anime fan, you become an idol fan as well because of MNL48. That's a very, very good uh, 48G that 
they incorporated that system in the Philippines as well. So when I got eliminated in the top 200 of MNL48, uh, after a while, I decided to model and to show myself that I am truly capable of bringing a magical girl to you guys and the idol that MNL48 would have gotten. So you're saying basically you, you, you are proving to yourself you still have the idol material. They want someone to cheer up, cheer up to, and they have like to find their own inspiration in their life. So that's what an idol is. I want to be an inspiration and a good model for everyone, and so that we will have like successful lives in our future. Okay, we go on to Tina. You've been doing this for how many years now? You've this performance group thing. Our group is for almost 10 years na po, pero ako pa I stayed for 5 years. Isang dekada, Hello Project Philippines! Isang dekada, uh, Ivy Musume. So, how did it start? It? In, 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 uh, in brief, how did it start? It? Sa opisa po, of course, wala naman po kasing financial support, so sobrang napakahirap po. Pero with the health and the passion of all of the members, nakapagpatuloy pang Ivy Musume for more than, or for almost 10 years. So, yun. Passion is the key. <laughs> So, kumbaga, sa idols themselves, they have the passion. The businesses, the, the, the managers are trying to keep this afloat. Jans, from their answers, what can you tell? Wala sa mga sabot nila kanina, how do you complement it with your kind of stuff? Balik tayo sa akin. Like, managing group kasi dapat laging ano eh, mas one kayo, di ba? Hahaha! <laughs> tayo sa concept mo ng performance lang. Na, minsan kasi, uh, sabi ko na yung story ng Robbie yan, right now. Kasi, ramdam ko yun na after one of the biggest stage nga last year is Manila Idol Matsuri, na after that, ramdam ko na na bababa na sila kasi wala silang long-term long -term goal. Kasi gusto lang nila mag-perform lagi. So, doon ako nag-step in, tapos, Ayun, it's always about, nandun pa rin yung passion, pero nandun pa rin dapat yung ano. Hindi lang, di lang passion, as a family din kasi dapat kayo eh. Di ba dapat pare-pareho kayo ng perspective, hindi yung dapat kayo mas nakataas. Ayun na, kaya nga kayo may management. So, dapat pa rin, nandigit, yun lang. Alright, thank you very much for that. At least alaman natin yung story ng Eurodia and that. Why you should follow them, aside from their performance ng Idol Fiesta. Ayan. So, <laughs> gathering all of these answers, of course, let's go to the fans. Uh, yes. I'm not saying here na we're comparing local idol community to MNL48. We're not going to do that here. Eh? We're, not, we're, not, we're not here for that. What I want to tell you is how, as an, diba, idols are supposed to be an inspiration. Are they an inspiration to you as a fan? Yes. Uh, they are giving happiness and joy to everyone. We ins uh, parang siya yung nabit niyo nga ito nagpipigyan ng inspire para maganaan ba sa work mo, sa gawin mo sa bahay, maglinis ka ng bahay. Tapos uh, ano, yun lang. Sure yan. Yun yes. Di pa tapos yan. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. So, another side of things. Of course, may mga... Gaano na ba karaming grupo ang na nagsasabi na they are idol groups? Di ba? We have performance groups. Yes, we understood that. We have like... Uh, talagang idol groups like CS4U, Idol you, I don't know, say so uh, Station Kakome was a uh, considered a performance group before, pero so much tagal nila, they're considered a idols. Tama? Tama. Di. Maski sila, di, maski sila, they want the answer straight from me. So yes, uh, yun nga, no? Uh, yes, yes. There has been like uh, numerous amounts of um, groups proclaiming themselves as idol groups and it's really, really touches my heart that everyone is doing their best to provide for the community, for the idol community in the Philippines, doing what they can and what they are supposed to. And I'm really, really like, hands down, thank you for the idol community in the 
Philippines. It's not, it's not a joke, it's a passion and it's something that only dedicated people were, will be able to do. Kasi siya sabi ng mga for like, uh, of course, ito perspective ko talaga. You can fight me on this. Kung uh, kaya cosplay, nag-cosplay ka na, you can already tread into the idol. Si, tell me more about a day in the life of an idol, in brief. Sige, we start with you, Trina, we'll go back to Tanchikan afterwards. A day in the life of, of an idol. A life of an idol? Yes. Um, actually, I don't know, for me, napaka-hirap po niya. <laughs> Kasi, aside from being an idol, may iba pa rin po kami mong buhay outside this kind of industry. Uh, like me, I'm already working and it's really not easy for us to bother in a specific day to find time to practice. But still, for almost 10 years, we're doing it. So, yeah, we're just continuing with what we're usually doing. So, yun po. Um, may iba pa pong uh, life or activities kami ginagawa aside from this. So, napakahirap po talaga. Alright, we'll pass the mic on to Tanchi. Go on, Tanchi. It depends on the context kasi when you say idol group. It's the same as saying beautiful. When you say someone is beautiful, in other people's eyes, he's not beautiful as the way you think he is, right? It's the, it really depends on the philosophical context on what a word or group of words is. So, walang batayan kung ano talaga, kung ano yung indie idol group or idol group. Basta ginagawa mo yung best mo at sa tingin mo naman na nabibigay mo yung tama at yung sapat sa mga tao and they're really happy in what you're doing. They're inspired by what you're doing. That's what makes an idol for me. So, you know, that is the perspective from everything, uh, starting from the life of an idol to the business side of things. Ito, mahapi ako pala sa side of things, ano. Pero, uh, yung pagiging fan, of course, uh, papalik ako sa'yo, Lorenzo. Nasabi mo na, na nakakapag-pampagaan uh, ng loob sa'yo ito. Yes. How do you support them? Uh, by buying their merch. Uh, support na... Uh, Thank you, thank you. Bili ng merch, uh, bili ng mga city, mga photocard. Uh, day by day, nag-iipon kami para mabili yung set ng mga kain, mga favorito namin ko si, yung mga kanawasin namin. Kaya pala yun yung pinapakita namin para para big support at uh, love, yung love namin para sa kalila. So, uh, you know, that's uh, his perspective. Kasi, of course, there's a counter-argument to that. Estudyante ako, paano ako makakabili ng merch? Paano ako makakaganito, ganyan? Of course, there's this thing called saving. And this hobby alone, people, cosplayers, condors, hindi ba kayo nag-sell ng isang daan, dalawang daan, tatong daan piso para pumasok dito? You might as well consider saving up for idol merch because that's the way you support your idols, especially in the local idol community. It's universal. Equivalent exchange. We give you happiness, you give us your resources to make you happy. Tama? Tama. Tama. Sir Jay, may lang ako. Yes po. Yung pag-support namin sa idols, ano, kasi head admin na ko ni di ba? Uh, ang ginagawa ko, papagawa ko ng mga banner at mga pin para lang mabigay sa mga ibang kuota para yung pa parang bigay sa kuota kay Nice. How many digits does it cost you to buy this merch? How many digits? One digit, two digit, three digit? Mga, mga tamang amount niya, mga 1K, ganun. 1K, so that's 4 digits. Oh. Hindi bigay ka 1,000 pesos. Hindi bigay ka 1,000 pesos. Kasi ano, kahit nasa labas kami, iikaw-iway namin yung mga partner namin para ipakita namin yung supporta namin sa OC namin. Team labas kami or team loob, gusto ko ipakita namin yung pag-support namin sa OC namin. Ay, walang pera, gusto ko ipakita namin na mahal namin yung OC namin. Bibigay kami ng mga pin para kumilal yung OC ng member na yun, ibigyan namin ng item para Pampano, pampapribi, pam say thank you for support sa ocean na yun. Ayan, so with that said, ilang minuto na lang tayo? 5 minutes na lang? Wala nabasa ko 15 minutes eh. Tama ba? <laughs>
Ayan. So, ladies and gentlemen, final toss po. Starting from Trina. Final toss. Mabilis lang. Um, sa mga nagbabalak na maging idol dyan, um, huwag pa kayong, ano, huwag niyo pong itago yung um, willingness and yung passion nyo. As long na nakakanta kayo or nakakadance kayo, go lang po ng go. Ayan. We'll go back to Pansy. Come and thank you very much, Trina. Uh, how are you to submit? Pansy? Just a brief uh, final thoughts. Para magsubit. Okay, so. So, hello. Ayun, uh, I've already said what my heart wants to say and to impart to all you guys in the audience. I hope you just support the indie idol community as well as any idol community and you come to love and appreciate that we exist. Okay? Tanchicon exists and every other group out there exists. Please, please, please. Support us. Thank you so much. Lorenzo, final thoughts. Mabilis lang. Please support Indie Idols, Mapa, MLA48, Pamanyan, o P-POP Gen. Saka, bigyan nyo pa yung support tayo ng mga local artists natin dito. Kasi yung nabibigay yung motivation para enlighten sila. Okay, final thoughts from Vilas. Mabilis lang. Mabilis. Gusto ko maging heart up. To people aspiring at I don't know. What no kaya nga doon ang grupo kaya trip na lang. Okay? Kasi, tandaan nyo, it's always about pera eh. Ayos mo. Kasi, practice, gagawa kayo ng costume nyo, blah blah blah, something gano'n, di ba? Lagi yung isipin yung pera eh. Itingin lang yun. How to market yourself, di ba? Anong unique sa'yo? Di forget cosplayer ka rin magiging ano ano, idol, yun know? Ayun, so again, idol si Sheki based na uh, ano ba? Sheki Marketing, Business, CD Production, Music Licensing na rin. Ang daming involved yun sa business. Pag-uusapan natin yan in the long term, ano? Pero thank you very much. Trina and Tachikon will be performing later. John Lagas Manalini, thank you very much. Thank you! Well, let's hope it's going for the idol, Sipana and Project Rubia. Yes, po. Mayroon po pong hapon. Ayan, okay. So, habang nag-award tayo ng certificates natin, pa-plug ko po, I just had a friend of mine na nagagina, gawin ko tambayan yung ano nila. Kung napiti kayo sa distansyo na to, doon, meron tayong mahabang discussion. It's called Dungeon Akiba in Mandalorian City. Soon enough, we'll be doing a lot of things there. And marami sa mga sa Dungeon Akiba for accommodating us. So, ayan, Dungeon Akiba sa Mandalorian City. Sa Mandalorian City ko lang yan. Check for the Mercury Club, Mandalorian Branch. Wala pa lang yan doon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's award the certificates na po to Magicon. John Lucas Manalili, Will Lance Sotes, and Trina from Ivy Musume. Yes, yes, we can dance, Trina, man! Thank you, my panelists. I'm going to go to you. Because I'll be presenting the Certificate of Appreciation for being part of Pinoy Attack of Festival 2019, even at Robinson's Novel Leaches, Kirina Highway Novel Leaches, Quezon City. Here, Bob, for Ivy Musume. With Trina as the leader, Yeah, uh, next one is for Tanchikon. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat. Good luck sa performance mo. Up next, tama? Up next, ha? Sunod na ba? <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you very much, Pinoy Otako Festival, for having me here. Again, kung nabili kayo sa usapan natin, maraming pa tayong pag-uusapan. This time, on a different place, different venue. Dadyo lang iba, mandalo yung city ko. Puntaan po natin yan. I'll be scheduling a recording there. Will us talk as well for the idols and Jalo Mesa Manali. Yes, Tessa. All right, so yeah, thank you po. Let's go to the game. Picture po, picture po. Picture po. Right. 